Hey guys, so um, I did some fun things with my makeup today and I don't want them to go to waste, so I'm trying to film um, a couple of videos. It's it's gotten a little bit easier to sort of like do uh, makeup and stuff now that Oliver is... He's more easily occupied by himself because he, you know, gets into stuff and he will like rummage around in my makeup or in the closet or whatever while I'm doing my makeup. It's not so much where a couple of months ago where he would just cry if I wasn't holding him. Um, now he's definitely much more independent and he likes to play by himself, but he likes to play in my things. So um, I get some time to myself once in a while, not to myself, but I get some time um, to, you know, do things like this um, every once in a while. And I had a eyeshadow kit that I had bought a long time ago that I really loved the colors on, but I have such a hard time with eyeshadow sometimes that I... I don't know what to do with it, um, but I was in my closet last night and I was like going through a bunch of stuff, decluttering and whatever, and I was like, I need to try this eyeshadow kit because I really like the eyeshadows in it, um, and I want to try it before I decide to declutter it, and I love, I love the eyeshadow. Um, I just don't know, like, I don't know, it, it feels almost a little bit incomplete. I hate putting stuff underneath my eyes sometimes because I feel like then it just makes me look like super tired because I always have bags under my eyes anyway so when I do like color on the lower lid I feel like it just doesn't look right so I did a little bit of the crease color underneath but I feel like it almost needs something I don't know if it needs like eyeliner or I don't really know but I like I like this I like what I did here and if I could find it online I don't know that it's still available it was like one of those everyday minerals like color trios they offered it was like the look or something um, if it's still available, I'll link it down below. I don't know that it is. I bought it quite a while ago and they, they go through so many, like their, their products, they like discontinue and like bring out new colors all the time, which is kind of cool. But, um, then if you like something that you see somebody using and it's not there anymore, it just sort of sucks. So I'm definitely not decluttering this eyeshadow trio that created this look today. Um, but what I have for you today, anyway, the point is, is that you might be seeing, you know, like fun creative stuff. And I did a lipstick swatch video and I left on this like sort of lipstick. What do you think? Does it, do you think the purple goes with this um, eye look? I can't decide what color lipstick would go with this eye look, but anyway. The point of this video is not even about makeup, it's about perfume. So I thought I would share with you my perfume collection. I don't wear perfume a ton. Um, I, I want to start wearing perfume again because I really like it. I've avoided it for a while just because I was pregnant. I wasn't really feeling anything and then I had Oliver and he was a newborn and he was all over me all the time and I didn't want there to be like um, an issue with him, you know, like inhaling the makeup, not like inhaling it, but you know, like him getting it all over him and maybe it aggravating him. But um, because he is more mobile and independent now, um, it will be a little bit easier for me to, you know, start wearing perfume again. And I want to show you guys my collection of cleaner perfumes. Now I'm no perfume expert. I know that there are things to avoid in perfumes like phthalates and synthetic fragrance and things like that. Um, I try to buy as many essential oil based perfumes as I can. Most of um, if the, the most natural perfume that you're going to get is going to be like essential oil in oil roller balls, um, if you know what I mean. Like something like this where it's like it's essential oils based in oil. So it's like a perfume oil and not um, like a perfume spray. This is going to be more natural. Uh, um, I think like 99% of the time um, when you see things like this, it's going to be like completely natural where something like this there's like, um, it's like based in alcohol uh, because it's it's obviously not an oil, it's, it needs to evaporate. Um, but then like the fragrance in it can be synthetic or not as clean or whatever. So I honestly, I, I try to do the best that I can. And I've amassed a little collection of natural or more natural perfumes. Um, some in the rollerball, some in the sprays, uh, but this is my... Over, it is too large of a perfume collection. I don't know that I'm going to declutter some of this today necessarily, but if I go through it and there's anything in here that I don't like necessarily, um, I will declutter it. But um, this is more mainly just my like collection. So I did actually, I have decluttered a few things in the recent uh, months. I only actually have one Harvey Prince perfume left. This is a entirely vegan, cruelty-free um perfume company and from my research I think that their 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 scents are all natural or the the stuff that they use in it to create the scents are all natural 
but I don't I don't know for 100% certain and I've never emailed them about it um, they're in Petivor or they used to be in Petivor quite a bit I don't know I don't they haven't been in a Petivor box um, recently and I've, I've had to remove myself from their mailing list because they were coming out with so many different like perfumes and they kept having like the you only pay shipping and you get a free rollerball and I kept doing that and then I just ended up with like 18 rollerballs not that many but then I decluttered them all because they all ended up smelling the same and I just kept the one that I really liked um, so this is the Sincerely by Harvey Prince I, it is, I mean, it is strong, and I, it's hard. I haven't worn, like, regular perfume in such a long time. I think I've said it's hard, like, <laughs> way too many times. Um, I haven't worn regular perfume, you know, like, conventional perfume in so long that I don't remember exactly what synthetic fragrance smelled like. I feel like these are natural. So definitely take my collection as not, um, confirming that it's 100% clean, because I don't know that it is. These are just cleaner options. So I think that the Harvey Prince perfumes are cleaner if they're not totally like 100%. I mean, I don't think any of them are 100% natural. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm not a perfume expert. Scent Hive, uh, Trish um, over at Scent Hive, she definitely is more of a perfume expert than I am. If you want to learn about perfumes and like scents and things like that, I'm gonna link you over to her channel because she it's great. She definitely is more knowledgeable in that area than I am. I'm just showing you the things that I like um, and I've loved. But anyway, I did declutter I think like six or so of these rollerballs and just kept the one that I liked. So again, this is Sincerely by Harvey Prince. Um, I feel like their perfumes are pretty affordable. I haven't bought one in a long time, so I don't really remember, but this smells, it's sort of like a rosy scent. It used to be called something else. I think it was Journey. And then they renamed it to Sincerely and then I bought the full size in Sincerely. Sort of like a rosy, like a exotic rosy scent. I really like that one. I also have one from my daughter's fragrances. I got this in a Petit Vore mystery box or something like that. Um, it, they don't sell this size, I don't believe. I think they have either like those little tiny sample jar things or they have like the big full size. And I do want a full size. They are coming out with a fourth scent. They've, this is, um, oh, I don't even remember what the the name of this was. I'll have to leave it on the screen because I can't remember. The, the tag is worn off, so I don't, I don't remember. It was the one in the green bottle. But I've loved all the scents that I've smelled from my daughter's fragrances. There again, they do have more natural, they're um, like traditional perfumes where it's in like the large spray bottle, but they're more natural. Um, this one I really liked. I do, like the bottle is so pretty. I almost, I wanna buy like perfumes just because the bottles are so beautiful. There's one from a company that I'm gonna show you in a little bit um, that the bottles are just like stunning and I really want like a full size just to get the bottle, but I also love the perfume in there too, so we'll get to that one. But the perfume from My Daughter's Fragrances, I really, really like. Um, again, I can't remember the name of this one offhand, but it's right here. Here it is, it's the name. <laughs> um, but again, I like all of the scents that I've, they have Bloom, they have Forever Loved, then this the green one, Always Remembered or something. I don't know why I'm bothering to continue, but I like this one, it's sort of like a, it's not rosy, but it's like floral. Again, it's really pretty. Um, I'm very bad at like describing scents. <laughs> another one, another company that I really like is the Pour Le Monde. Um, I bought this one at the Indie Beauty Expo, the very first one, and I got to meet the owner and like smell all of the scents. This one was my favorite. It's more of like a powdery floral almost. Mm. I loved all the scents, but again, I only picked up the one, but because I don't wear perfume that much. This, so this one again is Together. I really like this one. I feel like I want to re-smell all of the the perfumes from Pour Le Monde. I don't know how helpful of a video this is going to be. I just kind of wanted to show you my collection. Um, then of course we've got the Pacifica perfumes, which again, it's sort of like Harvey Prince. I think they're more focused on being like uh, cruelty-free and vegan than so much natural, but I, I feel like again, the Pacifica perfumes are, um, they're, they are a cleaner formula. I don't know how clean, I don't know if they're 100% clean or if they're if there's any synthetics in there, but they're a more affordable option. Again, you can find them in places like um, Whole Foods, Natures, uh, Sprouts, Nature's Grocers, um, Ulta, uh, Target. I don't know if Target sells any of their perfumes. They might sell like the Rollerball Trios, but I've got um, one of the big sprays. This is in Persian Rose. I love rose scents. Um, they're one of my favorite scents, and this one has like a very, like not artificial rose scent. It is sort of like a more natural rose scent. Then I've got French Lilac in the Rollerball. Again, sort of like a like a powdery like lilac scent. I really like that one. Mango Grapefruit. Like a fruity mango scent. 
The roller balls definitely don't last as long as the spray. The spray lasts a lot longer than the roller ball in this formula. I don't know if the spray is any different. I mean, they're, they're both sort of like a watery texture. These aren't like um, oil or anything like that. Um, Hawaiian Ruby Guava. And these all still smell. The thing that I like about these about perfume is that it lasts a lot longer. <laughs> um, even like natural perfume lasts longer than, you know, like skincare. So you can have it around a while. This one's Tuscan Blood Orange. I really need to, I need to like wear my perfumes more often. Tahitian Gardenia. This one might, this one might not be. Oh no, it's still okay. It was just a little like old at the top. Mm, I love all these scents and um, they have so many too. I have one more that I, I, ha I think I'm going to declutter because I haven't opened it. So I might as well just let somebody else like use it um, instead of, it's like Indian coconut nectar. I think it's like a vanilla coconut scent, which like isn't my favorite. Um, but that's the Pacifica ones that I have. Um, what else do I've got? I've got a lot of, um, okay, so we'll do, <laughs> I have a lot of like samples. Uh, oh, we'll do the full sizes here. So here we go. We got, we got, um, Skylar, uh, the, uh Skylar perfume, uh, reached out to me about trying their perfumes and they sent me their, their, um, they sent me their little tester set to try first and then they, were, they would send me the full size of the one I liked the best. Um, I love these testers. Um, because they give you like a really good idea of the scents and they, I love the ones, especially that come in the sprays, the ones that come in the bottles where you have to like pop the lid off. I hate those. I just end up throwing them away because I can never get the top off. I, I deeply prefer these ones in the, like the tiny spray bottles because they just, it's so much better to like try them. Um, but they have four different scents. They've got arrow, which is bold, coral, which is fruity, isle, which is fresh, and meadow, which is floral. And I really like them all, um, but I went with isle, which is their like fresh scent. Their ingredients, um, organic cane sugar, alcohol, um, water, and then perfume, uh, perfume fragrance. So they are paraben free and hypoallergenic. I love the packaging. Look at this. But again, it's sort of like a cleaner option. I don't think that they tout themselves as like all natural, but they're more of like a cleaner, I'm gonna spray this one on myself. Like a cleaner um, option for perfume. I really like this one too. And again, just like the bottle, just like, it's not even like fancy or anything, but I just love, I just love perfume bottles. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's not like I grew up with a mom who had like a ton of perfume bottles just like laying around. I was never one of those in one of those households, but I just love the look of like a good perfume bottle. I need like a place to, to put them nicely in my bathroom. I have them in like a cabinet right now, um, but I need to like a way to display them without all the, without a way that Oliver can get to them. <laughs> Cause that's my problem is I can't like leave them out anywhere cause he would get to them. Mm, but I love these. So if you're definitely interested in um, trying out perfumes uh for, look from any company look for like these little sample packs because it's so it's so much more helpful to to buy one of these i think this is 20 dollars, and then the full size ended up being like 78 i think um it's so much more like economical to buy something like this than to buy like a full size based on the description and realize you don't like it um and even like this like the sample pack will last you quite a while especially for someone like me who doesn't wear um who doesn't wear perfume all the time, something like this would actually last me months to like years because I only wear it on select days. So having something like this, you have options, but you don't have to buy, you know, four full sizes. So that's definitely, look for things like this. Look for things like the sample kits. Another one that I really like um, that has like a sample kit is the Ojai Wild. I love these perfumes. Uh, these, I need. I think I need a full size, not just because the packaging of the full sizes is just absolutely stunning, um, but because the scents of these are just so, they're so different. Um, like just listen to the, the descriptions, white sage leaves, um, pink peppercorn, redwood leaves, that one's my favorite. Um, and then juniper berry, they're just, they're so natural and they're so, um, I think these are probably the most natural in terms of spray perfumes that you're going to find, at least that I've found so far. Redwood leaves is my favorite. They smell like you're rubbing what the description of them is on your body. Like you're rubbing redwood leaves on your body or you're rubbing pink peppercorn on your body. I just, and the color of these is different too, because I think they are, they're more natural than, um, like say something like the like the Harvey Prince, for instance, 
it's just like extracts and like beautiful beautiful things so I definitely think at some point in the future I need a full size of the redwood leaves but even again here buying the sample kits this these will last you so long um but I just I love I love the Ojai wild scent and I absolutely love to have discovered this brand this year I just I love them and the packaging is stunning if you haven't looked them up definitely go look at their packaging because it's just like I just want to like buy and stare at it there was another sample pack um, I've got a couple other sample packs I'll just show you those first this one I received recently it's um Emi I think is the brand they're actually actually an Australian brand and they sent me their collection um in these little mini trial sizes which again I love because then you've got like a bunch of different ones to test out and it's gonna last you quite a while so they've got nine different fragrances and I think the thing with their, um, what their sort of like thing that makes them different is, is you pick them based on like your muse. Um, I'll leave the link for them down below as well, but it's like you, based on your, like your personality or like what you think that you, what you resonate with would be the perfume that you would pick. So they've got herbal, uh, woodsy, fruity, citrusy, fresh, oriental, uh, floral, musk. Um, there's a lot of, a lot, I haven't gotten the chance to try all these because again, there's a lot, I don't wear perfume all that often, but there's a lot of in here to try. Um, and I just think it's great that they offer these like entire set sample packs because again, not every, you don't need, you don't need nine full size, um, perfumes if you don't know that you're going to like them all. The last like sample set that I got, I showed you guys, um, I picked up from the Indie Beauty Expo. I don't know the ingredients or how natural these ones are when I talked to them um, and they were telling me about them. They did sound that the process of creating them was more natural. So I did just pick up the samples again. I, like, I love these little sample sets. They've got five different perfumes. This is um, Vote. Oh, Villa of the Mysteries. <laughs> Villa of the Mysteries. Um, these are a Brooklyn-based perfume. And the description of these perfumes, um, just like pink grapefruit, uh, vanilla, Madagascar, white orchid, green fig, um, blue cypress, they just rose cinnamon, and um, they just, they all sounded really great. They all just sounded really interesting, and again, I wanted to try them all, but didn't want to buy the full sizes of all of those. So again, I don't know how natural these are. I think that they're, they're on the more natural um, spectrum in terms of perfumes, but I don't, I don't think the ingredients are listed on the website. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Um, or email them or something and um, get back to you on them. But I've got a couple of perfumes from Lotus Way that they no longer have. They do have their anointing oils, which I think is they're pretty similar. Um, but I got their perfumes on like closeout before they um, discontinued them. So Quiet Mind, um, Joy Juice, and Inner Peace. Um, if you know the the Lotus Way like um, Aura Mists, they have the same scent. They're a little bit different just because they're a perfume. Um, it's, so they have like a longer staying power than the Aramists do, but they're still the same sense that you love in the, in the Aramists, only in perfume form. But again, I don't think that they make those anymore, so I'm definitely treasuring like the lasts of my, <laughs> the lasts of my Lotus Way perfumes. So a couple of others in these rollerball forms I've got, I've got these ones from Inkling. Um, they sent me a sampling of their, um, their 100% pure fragrance and essential oils. Um, these are actually alcohol free is what they say. Um, essential oil based perfumes and they I think they all come in a roller or maybe some of their bigger sizes come in come in a spray. I'm not quite sure. So they sent me sultry, which is it's a beautiful scent. I love all the scents of these two, but the ones that are my favorite from this brand are actually their um, like touch of oil perfume. They have like a collection of five of these where it's like touch of rose, which is what this one is, and it comes even there's like even like a little rose in there. And then there's also Kissed by Citrus. They've got a couple of others. I think there's a lavender one, and then I think there's like a pine one. But I really like these because they're very like natural scented. They're like naturally scented. They just smell like a kiss of rose, like a kiss of citrus or a touch of citrus or touch of rose, kiss of citrus. They really are. They're very like light and they're exactly like what they they smell or they what the description of them is. So I really like those as well. Some more essential oil or like oil based perfumes. Um, I've got the Leilani collection. I like couldn't help myself. Two of these are organic. Um, and then two of them are not. I can't remember which ones are not. Oh, the Mahana and the Pua, Pua, Le, Pua Pualea. These ones are um, the organic ones. This one is I'm like getting a little woozy, like sniffing all of these perfumes. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing any of these perfumes any justice because I'm not really describing what they smell like, but I just wanted to, 
again, I just wanted to kind of show you like my collection because I've never really talked about perfumes and I wanted to show you like what I had, but I love all four of the ones that she offers, um, even the two non-organic ones. There's Kauai Orchid and then there's also Pikake or Pikake. I don't know pr Hawaiian pronunciation. But they all smell really beautiful. They're all really natural because they're like oil, they're essential oil based in um, actual like carrier oils. So again, this this is the kind of um, perfume that's gonna be, if you're looking for something like completely natural, this is the kind of perfume that you're gonna wanna go for is the ones that are like essential oil based in carrier oils. And now I can't get this, I can't get this perfume closed for some reason. <laughs> But yeah, that was the four of those. We're almost done. I also have the Atar Ona Ona from one of the previous uh, Mahalo Love collections. I got, I think that, I think I received this when I was pregnant and I was having such a hard time with florally things that I haven't, I haven't really worn this because I was like afraid to pick it back up thinking I wouldn't like it again. But now that I'm smelling it again, it definitely smells a lot better than I remember it smelling when I was pregnant. I had such a hard time with floral stuff when I was pregnant. I couldn't even use the petal for like months because it was just like too floral for me and it just smelled like, I just wanted to like, well, it was just bad. But this does not smell like wretched. It just smells very beautiful. And I hope that she releases, um, I hope she releases a perfume of some kind at some point, like full size. Um, she is, a, she is releasing the circadian balance in, December, I believe, which is like, um, it's not a perfume, but it's sort of like an anointing oil, like a tension. Um, it's like blue tansy base. And it's, it's beautiful. I just can't, I can't wait until you guys, um, smell it until it comes out. But I don't think that's, it's not necessarily a perfume, but it's, it is beautiful. But I have that one from her. And then I have, um, more of like sample size things, which honestly I kind of hate. I end up getting rid of these, um, after a while, but this one is the My Daughter Fragrances in Bloom 23, which is it's one of their newer. All right, Oliver woke up, so I'm gonna have to get through the rest of these kind of quickly. I do have a couple of little samples from the Josh Rosebrook. Uh, what is it, Ethereal? This one's a, a unisex, um, but it's very, it is very strong. I have never, I've never actually worn it. Um, I just have these two like single use single use like drops, there's like drops in here. Um, but there's that, the, the Josh Rosebrook Ethereal. Again, I think I got that one when I was pregnant too, or it was like right after, maybe it was right after. Um, and I had never had a chance to wear it because it's like sort of like a more special perfume. <laughs> At least to me, it smells, it smells more special. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple of these other samples that, um, there's this one. This is the Isoria, there's an Oliver from Kahina Giving Beauty that came in the 13th Hero last year, which I love the, it smells exactly like the body oil. If you've ever tried the Asuria body oil, it smells exactly like that. It is beautiful, but it's like in that tiny packaging. Um, this here's the Bloom 23 by My Daughter Fragrances. I do like this one, but I hate, I hate these. These are the, these are the things that I hate. Um, I love the scents in these, these ones that I've kept. So I might just need to bite the bullet and just pick up the full sizes of these ones in particular, because I do like the scents. Um, or at least try to find like a, like a bigger size of this one. That's not a full size. That's, that's Bloom 23. Um, I forget, I think maybe that one by, um, it'll, it'll have been on the screen, but I'm thinking of it now. I think it's always loved. Maybe it's not, maybe it's joyful. Maybe it's joyful. <laughs> um, but this one I got in a Petit War box. It's the Vermont Perfumery. I think it's an Eros. I really like this scent and I can't, there it is. This one is in like an essential oil, like oil roller ball. It's like an oil based perfume. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I do think that I'll just have to pick up one of those because I hate using these things. I just want to throw this away. But I do really like the scent of this one. And then the last one I have is by Tallulah Jane. I don't know why I've held on to this one. No, I'm probably just going to end up, well, I do kind of like it. It's, I. Ayana, Ayana, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's by Tallulah Jane. I think I got this one in a Petit War box as well. Um, but yeah, that is my entire perfume collection. It's a lot of perfume um, for someone who doesn't wear perfume that much, but I definitely have my favorites. I love the Ojai Wild in uh, Redwood Leaves. That's definitely a favorite. Um, Together by... Uh, Pour Le Monde is also a favorite. Isle by Skylar is also one of my new my newest favorites. 
Um, I love the, the a Lotus Way perfumes. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. And also the um, the Leilani or Leilani perfumes. I also really, really love those. Those are beautiful. Um, I think the Kawaii Orchid is probably my favorite. Let's smell it again. Oh, I know it smells so good. It smells really beautiful. And now Oliver's playing in my perfume. Um, but yes, that is my entire perfume collection. So definitely let me know what your favorite sort of like cleaner perfumes are. Not that I need any more perfumes, but I definitely want to expand my knowledge on perfume and um, ingredients and like cleaner perfume brands, things like that. I know Strange Invisible, I feel like I think is a cleaner perfume brand, but their perfumes are so expensive. They're like insane. Um, but yeah, that's all that I've got for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've got any of mine, if any of them are your favorites. And then also again, let me know what your cleaner perfume favorites are. And I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs> Bye.